Today, it's all about trying to find an affordable guitar. It's something that we've all had to go through at some point in our guitar playing life. We can't afford the best guitar. Uh, you know, you haven't been playing a long time. You don't want to throw a lot of money at gear. Maybe you have been playing for a very long time, but you're still looking for that cheap instrument that you can keep in an office, or maybe you want to gig with it. Maybe you don't want to take your really expensive guitars out on the road. But the problem is that by the time you get down to a price point that you're really comfortable with, the quality starts to decline. Well, the folks at Donner got in touch with me and they reached out and they asked me if I wanted to check out one of their new DST-400s. Um, and I said, sure, why not? Worst thing that could happen, it shows up, I don't like it. I tell them I can't really do, the, uh, do anything on it. It's not something I'm willing to put you know, my name on and say that I, I think it's a good guitar. And I sent it back to them. Worst case scenario. Well, it arrived, um, and this is it. So, I'm not going to do any major shots of it, because I'm not a photographer. Although, I'm getting better with video, and I'm hoping to be better at it one day. So, this is the DST-400. This is a 200 US dollar Strat. Sorry, it's not a Strat, it is an S-style guitar. You, you tell me what it is. So, I got it, plugged it in, I did a little work on it set up, it came set up with nines. I don't really play nines, so first thing I did was take those strings off, I put tens on it, got it tuned up, let it settle for a couple of days, then did a little bit of a, a saddle height adjustment. I did a little of spring tensioning on the back so that I could actually use the tremolo, which I didn't do in the demo that you saw. Um, but it's, it's pretty good. I wouldn't go crazy on it. I'm not 100% sold on this tremolo quality. Um, but we're going to talk about that a little more. So, first impressions. It's got a pretty good size neck for a Strat. Um, it's not baseball bat thick, which is such an overused term. Can we stop using baseball bat? Can we use something else? Um, it's not the thickest neck I've ever, ever played. Um, but it's thicker than, say, most 60s style Gibson necks that I know. It's not as thick as the 50s style. Um, I would say it's a D style neck. Maybe a slightly shallow D, not a super fat D. It comes with these uh, vintage style tuners that so far hold tune. I hope it's focusing properly. It may not be. I'll try to get some shots in the, uh, in the demo here so you can actually see what they look like. Um, it comes with an okay set of pickups. Um, one thing that drives me a little crazy, I'm going to talk about this, cream. Cream bobbin, white pit guard. Cream bobbin, white pit guard, white pickup covers. Why? Why do you do that? I'm, I'm not a fan of that. The uh, frets on it are nice. No sharp fret edges. They... Um, the neck plays nice and smooth. I don't have any fret out. I don't know what the radius on this is. It was not listed in the literature I looked at. Um, and it also did, was not, um, I, don't have a, I don't have a gauge. But I know that I can bend pretty well at the, uh, you know, bend in that E box at the 12th fret and I'm not getting any fret out. Action is pretty low. Um, I'm pretty impressed, actually. 
Uh, you'll, you'll see and you'll hear in the playing demo that um, it's, pretty, it's pretty playable. I didn't have any issues with any fighting the guitar. Um, I will say that one thing that did impress me on the um, two-point tremolo system is that I got the back panel taken off currently. It does come with it on. I just took it off so that I could do the tensioning of the springs. It comes with a big block tremolo. That is uncommon, at least in my uh, expe uh, experiences with affordable guitars. I didn't expect that to be a thick block tremolo. Now it's still, it looks like it's still pot metal. Y'all, they're building these at a budget. $200. Remember, this is a $200 guitar. It comes with a strap, says Donner. It comes with a um, cable and a gig bag. I'm not even going to show you the gig bag. It's fine. It, it's If you're just grabbing it, you're taking it to a lesson, it would be fine. If you're going on the road with this thing, I would I'd get a better case. Um, I'd get a better strap, too. I'm not a big fan of this strap. Um, so you've already heard it a little bit. You're going to hear a little bit here at the end. But here's, I'm just going to give you my impressions. It is a very, very good guitar. It is freakish to me how great a $200 guitar can be in today's market. When I first started playing, $200 got you an Affinity Squire, which in the 1990s and the early 2000s, that was not a guitar you wanted to play. You did not want to play an Affinity Squire. They, you'd cut your hand open on the fret edges, though the wood was maybe wood, I don't know. I, I never played one that I thought played well at all. I always went for a Made in Mexico if I needed a budget guitar. I still have a Made in Mexico Strat that I adore from the 1990s, um, which has a much thinner neck than this one does. Actually, this neck is much more comfortable to play than my 1990s Made in Mexico Strat. This neck is actually more comfortable to play for me big deal for me than the American Pro Strat that I had with the all rosewood neck. I find that this one is more comfortable to play for me. Um, but that's that's purely the profile. That's just, you know, I like one more than I like the other because of the shape. Uh, that's not saying that this is a better quality guitar than that American Pro because I'm just going to be honest, it's not. But I have been really enjoying playing this guitar. I enjoy playing it more than my actual Strat. My Mexican Strat's the only one that I've got. Um, but yeah, I think this thing could hold up really well. The tuning is really stable. Uh, as long as you don't go crazy on the tremolo. So let's talk about, well, vibrato. Let's talk about this. I don't like this vibrato system. This bar just pops in. It looks like it is supposed to lock, but it, well, you can't really see this. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to, we're gonna try. Um, it looks like it's supposed to lock in, but you put it in, there is no lock. So, um, you can use it at your own risk. It may or may not get back to tune. I think with a little more setup, I'd actually be able to get it to play pretty well. But ultimately, I'm not going to use this. But if you just want a great, versatile, affordable instrument, I think you should really give Donner a look. I, I did. They did send me this guitar. They didn't tell me what I needed to say about it. But I'm really, really impressed by the quality that I'm seeing here. I don't know a lot of instruments that are going to be as good at this level. Uh, I was fully expecting to hate this guitar. I was ready to hate it. I prepped myself to hate it. And I just don't. Um, I hope you'll check it out. There's a link down below. Uh, I don't have an affiliate link with them. I don't have any it, any kind of affiliation besides the fact that they sent me this guitar. Um, but you can check it out for yourself if you're looking for an affordable Strat. Uh, S-style guitar. If I'm going to be on YouTube, I've got to learn to say these things. Um, but in the meantime, uh, hope you enjoy it. Here's a little more of the guitar, and uh, until next time I see you, be good to yourselves, be kind to each other, and make some noise.